Welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden and in this video I want to talk to you about a common problem that I get asked about all the time and that is leaf litter and ponds. Now you don't really want any leaves going into your ponds because it can be very detrimental to the wildlife and to the plants that you have in your pond, your lilies, your oxygenating plants and all your marginal plants as well if you're not careful. Now I'll show you the problem that we've got with this pond and that is that all the leaf litter that keeps falling in from these surrounding trees over the years is going to build up and build up and add to increased seat, uh, silt layers in the pond which of course is not going to be very good because it's going to smother out a lot of your oxygenating plants and your lilies in the autumn time when these plants are dropping to the bottom of the pond before they then rise back up again in the spring things such as water soldier as well and your oxygenator like I say things like your hornwort so obviously this leaf litter, this layer of leaves falling on top of those plants can actually smother them out and kill them off. Not only that, the process of these um, leaves decomposing in the bottom of your pond is obviously going to add to the nutritional value of the water, which is not good again because then of course in the summer months and the spring, you're gonna get increased algal blooms because they thrive on that nutritional value within the water. So where you can avoid leaves falling into your pond and to combat this really there's two things one if you're looking to build a new pond site it away from any overhanging branches of any trees and bring it bring it into the middle of the garden make it a nice feature and give it as much sunlight as possible and secondly if you do have an existing pond or you've taken on an existing pond maybe you've moved into a garden and you want to keep the pond where it is you don't want to overhaul it and dig it elsewhere in the garden then uh, you can net it at the right time of year, sort of end of October time, uh, make up a wooden frame with some netting over the top and of course put that over the pond so that, that catches any leaves falling on top and of course then remove that, put the leaves in the compost bin uh, and it's only for a few weeks of the year whilst the leaves are dropping. Of course you want to remove that afterwards so that your birds and things can get down to the edge of your pond still to bathe and drink. So hopefully by doing that you will combat the you know majority you're not going to stop every leaf falling in but the majority of the leaves falling into your pond and as you can see the the detrimental effect that it's had to this pond has meant that the water's got a very rich black color uh, which of course is not good for anything the wildlife eventually just peters out and uh, it's, it's not a lot of good for many of your plants as well as I say so hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea as to how you can combat leaves uh, and your pond and keep it as healthy as possible and of course if any do drop in the pond and you haven't netted it and you haven't got time or you've got a busy working life like most of us then of course you can just go out you know every other day and maybe just net out most of the leaves as they're falling just through that period where the leaves are dropping off the trees and of course they're not going to decompose overnight this is a, a pretty lengthy process underwater so you will have time to remove those leaves before they start decomposing. Hopefully that's given you a bit of advice and a few tips as to how you can manage your pond and deal with leaves in and around your garden, which we all have. And uh, if you want to know any more about the pond maintenance or any uh, how to maintain your pond, then I have done some other videos and I'll put a link in now to things such as bulrushes on larger water bodies and also more commonly blanket weed and how you can combat that. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the video, give the video a like and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.